What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> we're in the Distortion World, and we're here with our girlfriend, Cynthia. Mm-hmm. Anywho, uh, yeah, the last episode, we went through a lot, and we, lot, uh, we, we, we like, evolved our Pokemon, defeated some Team Galactic Grunts, and uh, we managed to almost destroy the world because, of course, we're in the Distortion World. So here is Cynthia, and she's like, this place... Can you feel it? There are no Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing. Time isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken. A space one might call the distortion world. Let's find Giratina. We needed to stop spreading the distortion uh, at, spe at the spirit pillar. Oh, damn. That was not good. That was Giratina. We have to hurry. If something's not done, the distortion will, small will swallow not only our world, it will overwhelm the distortion world. Whatever you say, homegirl. Okay. So, um, yeah, the Distortion World. Pretty awesome. Pretty great place. Um, yeah. Just a lot of stuff. And, well, we need to get to Jir We need to get to Cynthia. And, of course, she's going to be like this rock slab. It appears to move if you step on a certain spot. And that is down the middle right here. Now, this place right here, it is a very, very confusing place. And, uh... Well, Cynthia's gonna be like, we will get to see Giratina if we keep going down. In the distortion world, are we really traveling downward? Hmm. That is true. So, let's go ahead and follow our girlfriend. Yes, let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, as you guys can see, Mesprit is gonna be calling us up, and... It's going to be traveling up, so it must be telling us something right here. Now, this gets a little confusing because, well, your controllers uh, get a little crazy right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Yes, we're traveling. Let's go ahead and see what we can actually find. And there's there's Cynthia, and she's happened to be over at the... How did she get over there? I want to know. All right, let's see. If we go right here... And, yeah. Holy buckets. Okay, so... Yeah, right here. Okay, right there. And here is Cynthia, and she's going to be like, The legend of Giratina has been all but forgotten by a few. The legend told of a world on another side of ours. This world, why does it? Why does this world exist? Why is Giratina here all alone? There's so much that, that can't be explained, but we have to do uh, things to do. Let's split up. We have to find the right way. Whatever you say, homegirl. Let's go right ahead and find the, the right way right here. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go right here. Nope. Right here. Okay, so as always, this place is just as difficult as it can be. It, yeah, you're just going to be like, you know, confused and all that stuff. So, uh, what if we go right here? Nope. And yes, yeah, so you're not going to be needing any repels right here, guys, because there's literally no Pokemon but Giratina. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right here. Nope. Go right here, and just when you think you're close by, yeah, you you get sent somewhere else, and it looks like to me, where the heck are you? No, nope, not right there. Not right there. Okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we got sent. We got sent somewhere where we were, we weren't supposed to go. Holy buckets. Okay. So let's see. How about right here. Nope. That right there we've already been through. And okay, so it looks like it looks like to me we're gonna have to speed this up because good gravy, this it gets it gets really crazy. So let's go right ahead and speed it up. And go right back over here. And it looks like There we go. Okay, so we're going down and that right there doesn't take us anywhere except for right here. And we're going lower and lower, or we're going to the top, and here's Cyrus, and he's going to be like, The Shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? Yes, I do. If it's true, you've impressed me. Genes can be considered the blueprints of all life forms. That includes humans and Pokemon alike. Genes are contained in the DNA strand. A DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing characteristics in a in a spiral. If one of the chains were to be broken, the other could replace it. One or the other cannot exist with its opposite. Do you understand where I'm going with this? This is a bizarre world. T time doesn't flow. 
Space isn't stable. Only that shadowed po shadowy Pokemon lives here. This world is the opposite of our world. A world I wish to change. It is it is like the two chains composing of a DNA a, st a strand of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other to remain in existence. Without the one, the other one cannot exist. The shadowy Pokemon must play a role in keeping the worlds in balance. That is why it must have interfered and brought us, brought me here. The shadowy Pokemon must have made this, this bizarre world. That's why trying to change our world disturbed it and made it reveal itself. But that is all irrelevant. What matters is defeating defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it into, into, to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither world will be able to revert to its original state. This guy talks a lot. I just figured that out. Okay, so let's see. Where the heck are we? Ah, yes, I know where we're at. We need strength for this. And um, as you guys can see, everything disappears and reappears. And, well, we're going to be seeing Misprit here pretty soon. We just got to find the right spot in order to get to Mesprit. And, well, let's see. Got to go down. And, uh, well, let's see. Where, oh, where can we go next? And, uh, well, let's see. We're going to be going right here. And it looks like to me that we have entered an area where Mesprit is going to be, or Uxi or Azel will be telling us. As you guys can see, the legendary Pokemon is right above the boulder and is telling us to actually push the boulder there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and press this big boulder right here. And there we go. Now, of course, there will be some other boulders around here. I just got to find it, um, I think. Okay, so I think we can go right here, and this will actually get us right into this area. Now... We have to push the boulder into, I guess, where the legendary Pokemon is at. So let's go right ahead and right here. And Uxi is uh, thrilled with us. Okay, so that's one right there. Let's see. Let's see if we can actually find another boulder around here somewhere. Let's see. This place. And, oh, look at that. Cynthia. This place, it seems to be a giant puzzle. Maybe Giratina wants us to test, uh, who, test those who visit here. It appears as if we can't go unless we solve the puzzle. There were some boulders that we could uh, that could be removed, and there are several odd pits on the floor. The Pokemon of the lake seem eager to show us something. So just remember, guys, uh, if you see a legendary Pokemon above a pit, it's usually it's pretty much telling you, "Hey, put the boulder right here." And well, let's go right here. And where, oh, where is uh, another... Okay, so we're probably going to have to go upstairs. Let's see. Okay, so we're going up. And nothing can be found. Oh, look at this. Okay. So here we have another legendary Pokemon letting us know that, hey, throw this boulder right over here. And you'll be good to go. So let's go right ahead and follow that legendary Pokemon. Let's go ahead and press this. And there we go. And, well, let's see. Yes, of course, we are rushing through this because good gravy. Now, this will leave us into another location right here, which uh, does get confusing because these branches right here and these boulders seem to move from place to place. And there was Giratina. As you guys can see, wherever you go, it's something's going to appear and it's going to dictate where you're going to be going. So, let's see. There we go. And looks like to me we need to go here, I think. Let's see, where are we? How about right here? And there we go. And it looks like to me we are in an area where we can actually surf. Of course, every single time you see Giratina, it kind of feels like you're getting closer and closer. And as you guys can see, Wow, we are going upside down into this whole area, and yeah, look at that. Surfing upside down. Never see, never thought I'd see the day, and well, we see another boulder. So in doing so, you're going to be seeing one of the other legendary Pokemon tell us, hey, right here. 
Throw the boulder right here. Don't be dumb. Just throw the boulder right there. So let's go ahead and speed this up. And there we go. Just pushing that in. And, well, let's go right back in here. And it will take us towards this part. Now, as you guys can see, you got the legendary Pokemon in front of the area where you need to push that boulder at. So let's go right ahead and do that. Push that in there. Azulf is happy. Now, we got to find Mesprit or whatever the, the other Pokemon is. And it looks like to me we have to go all the way over there. And just like that, bam. Mesprit has been happy. So that right there solves our little puzzle. And we got to go back to Cynthia. She's going to be like, I guess the Pokemon of the lakes must have gone home. I understand they can keep balance against other either Palkia or Dialga. Does it mean that they can't do that with Gi Giratina? Oops. This is no time for idle chit-chat. Something appears. And, well, would you look at that? Okay. Let's go right ahead and save the world with my lady. Mm-hmm. My beautiful blonde lady. There she is. Okay. Bring it on. This is it. Giratina is up ahead. Okay. Alrighty. So, I'm going to save the game right here because I have a very bad tendency to screw up everything. So, there we go. And so, you were already here. Why do you seek to change the world? If you hate our world, you should just go off somewhere alone. Find somewhere where you can live without seeing others. Why should I run and hide from the world and have to wait pay quietly? My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. By freeing ourselves of that, our world can be made complete. That is my justice. No one can interfere. Okay. Uh, I have a bad feeling that he's going to have some pretty cool Pokemon. So, Electrostar, you're, 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 you're going in there. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I won't lose. Not to a shadowy Pokemon. Not in any worthless world. Okay. So, here it is, guys. We're battling Cyrus yet again. And this guy has five Pokemon. Five. And he's going to be coming out with some pretty intense Pokemon at the level 45. So let's go right ahead and switch these Pokemon out. Flamethrower doesn't really hurt. Here comes an Earthquake attack for the win. Here comes Weavile. And we're taking a risk with Togepi. But here comes a Flamethrower attack. And that nearly does it. And that, well, yeah, we got defeated right there. So let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. Brick Break for the win. And here comes Honchkrow. Honchkrow is a scary Pokemon at level 47. We're going to go with a Thunderfang. And it is a very, very physical Pokemon with its Night Slash. And as you guys can see, we're going up against a Gyarados. This guy does not mess around. So let's go with Poseidon right here. And go with a Rock Climbing. Crap Basket's completely forgot. Completely forgot that our guy is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Rosemon. Time to do your thing. There we go. Toxic attack. Well, this is going on. Let's go ahead and revive a few Pokemon. There we go. And Waterfall does its thing. Let's go with Electro Star yet again and Thunderfang. Crap baskets. Okay, so. I'm gonna go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. This guy is powerful, guys. He is powerful. There we go. Ice Fang does the thing. And let's go with Toothless. We should be powerful. There we go. Dragon Claw yet again, and there we go. Here comes a Crobat, so we're going to be going with another Dragon Claw right here. And, you know, with a Toxic Attack, it's going to mess us up a little bit. And, wow! Let's go, Thunderfang. And just like that, by the hair of our chinny chin chin, we end up beating a Galactic Bus! Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, I am not reading all that because this guy talks way too much. Don't think that you can defeat or capture that Pokemon. This bizarre world is none other than the Pokemon itself. Capturing it or defeating it will make it make this world disappear. Very well. Do what you will. Rather than repeat repairing the world, you're going to destroy it for me. Do it. You inherit my legacy. Yeah, flipping you off, homeboy. I am literally flipping you off. And, well, Cynthia right here. Being the loving girlfriend that she is, she's telling us, Don't believe his lies. It's not possible that a Pokemon can make a world disappear. The world you awaited your birth, not only yours either. Pokemon with you and people close to you. 
All the Pokemon in the world were born because they were a part of the world. I'm convinced of that. Giratina won't go out and go out of existence. This, this this distortion world won't disappear. Our world won't disappear either. Let's go meet Giratina. Oops! I should do something about uh, your hardworking Pokemon first. Thank you. See? Get yourself a girlfriend like Cynthia, guys. Okay, so it is finally time for us to go meet Giratina, and of course. Cynthia's gonna be like, Giratina is enraged because the two worlds are endangered. It merged with, uh, it has merged the distortion world and our world at the Spear Pillar. That's why both worlds are becoming distorted. But there's nothing to fear. You can defeat Giratina and show the type bond you share with your Pokemon, or you can demonstrate how much you want it to join you. If you succeed in doing either, Giratina will understand. The distortion of the two worlds will stop. So, as you guys can see, you're going to be taking on a Giratina itself. I'm going to be saving this game because, again, I have a very bad habit of screwing things over. Um, Check this out, guys. In Pokemon Platinum, if you defeat Giratina, it won't be the last time you see it. You will be able to find it later on. My intentions right here is to try and capture it because, well, I can. And I want to. I want it. As you guys can see, Giratina is finally looking at me. He's like, come forth, human. And, well, Giratina, in all its glory, looking at me like a big old piece of meat. Giratina is quietly Iron Draven. I'm saving this game, guys. I don't care what anybody says, I'm saving this game. Hey, right. <sighs> let's see. Maximum effort. Let's go. So, here it is, guys. Taking on Giratina, level 47. Let's go with Electro Star, and yes, we're lowering its attack. Let's go with a good old Thunder Fang. Try to paralyze this Pokemon. Come on, damn it. Okay, we're gonna go with the other secret weapon, Rosemon Brass Whistle. There you go. And let's go with a Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Ominous Wind hits us pretty hard. Let's go with a Grass Whistle. Crap Baskets on a Crapsicle Stick. And well, let's go with Poseidon right here. And let's try and revive our Pokemon. So it looks like to me we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to put this Pokemon to sleep. So let's go with a Hyper Potion, and Ancient Power hits us. So let's go with a Rock Climb attack. No, doesn't work. Surf attack. Surf attack again, and this Pokemon disappears. So let's go right ahead and heal Poseidon right here, just in case uh, you know anything happens. And here comes Shadow Force, its signature move. So here comes Surf attack again. And try Pluck Attack, and there we go. This Pokemon is now weak. Let's go right ahead and go with Rosemon. And here comes the Ancient Power, Grass Whistle. And, oh no! Fuck! Oh. Dragon Claw this guy. And, well, if you hit it one more time with a big hit, it's gonna just faint, so. Let's go with a Pluck Attack. And let's go back to Rosemon. Ominous Wind hits us, Grass Whistle, puts this guy to sleep. Let's go ahead and capture this god dang Pokemon! Let's go. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you. God dang it. Okay, so... God dang it. Come on, Grass Whistle. So we basically have, like, one attack left. Let's see. There's a Timer Ball. God dang it. Okay, so Ultra Balls. Damn it. Fuck you, Giratina. A lot of boring math later. And yes! Oh my god. Holy crap. This Pokemon would not get captured. Oh my god. Okay, so here it is, guys. Giratina, the renegade Pokemon. It, li it truly lives up to its name. It is both ghost and dragon type. It was banished for a violence or for its violence. It silently gazed upon the old world from the distortion world. I am flipping you off, okay? No, I am not giving you a nickname, and, well, go straight into box number two. I hate you. I really do. Okay, so Cynthia is, uh, happy with us, and she's like, Giratina seems to have understood us. Cyrus, that Pokemon. That shadowy Pokemon was captured? Yeah, about that. You're doing so mean- you're doing so means it its irrational world will remain in its ex in existence. Does it mean it is impossible for me to create a new world? Even if I made the red chains, the new world isn't made, can't be made. Why? 
What compels you to protect the two worlds? Is spirit a vague and incomplete thing, or is it or so important to you? The places we were we are born, the time we spend living, the language we speak. We are all different, but the presence of Pokemon unites us. We all share or we share our lives with our Pokemon and our happiness grows as we all become greater and then we are alone. That is why we can battle and trade with anyone we choose. Silence! Enough of your blathering. That's how you justify spirit as something worthwhile? That is merely a human's hoping. Dulling or deluding themselves that are happy and safe. The emotions rolling inside me. Rage, hatred, and frustration. These are ugly emotions arise because of my own incomplete spirit. Enough! We will, never, we will never see eye to eye. This, I promise you. I will break the secrets of the world. With that knowledge, I will create my complete imperfect world. One day, you are talking too much. Shut up! Okay, flipping you off. Jesus Christ. Cynthia's gonna be like, Since there is a sadness, we can feel joy. When there is anger, compassion is born. Let's go back home. The portal where Giratina was uh, should be, or should, or was, should lead us back to our world. Giratina was written in the legend as being on the other side of the world. It stands to reason that it has a link to the other side. Okay. Let's get the F out of here because I am so sick and tired of the distortion world. This place! It's the send off spring! It's said somehow lead or it's said to somehow lead to a great the great beyond. And Giratino was said to live in a world uh, on the opposite of ours. Oh, I'm sincerely sorry. It's very rude of me. Draven, you're incredible. You are really a fantastic trainer. Let me say this on behalf of all Silo. Sino. Draven, thank you. Oh, that's right. You have to go tell Professor Rowan. He was very worried about you. You should visit his lab. Whatever you say, baby. Okay, so here we are in the send-off uh, spring. There really isn't a lot, but you can go through the cave that, you know, uh, Cynthia is at in order to capture uh, Giratina if you guys fail to, to capture it at first. So, what's going to happen is we're going to get the heck out of here because we don't need to be here anymore. There's slight fog. Oh my god, I hate trying to capture Giratina. It is the worst Pokemon to try and capture. And, well, look, oh look where we're at. We are in a secret entrance right here at Route 214. So, we, we definitely need to work on a lot of things on our team. We're going to be going back to Veilstone. So... This has been the episode to where we are capturing uh, Giratina, and well, let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and see this Pokemon right here. So, Giratina, both Ghost and Dragon type, it is a very, very powerful Pokemon. As you guys can see, it's probably in its in its origin form or leg mode. I don't even know. So here it is, Ghost and Dragon type Pokemon. We've captured it on May 13th of this of this year, and of course, its ability is Pressure does have the moves Ominous Wind, Ancient Power, Dragon Claw, and Shadow Claw. A very, very formidable Pokemon. So, that is that for this episode, guys. In the next one, we will be going straight to Sunny Shore and uh, trying to get our 8th badge right there. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will see you guys in the next episode as we get to Sunny Shore City. See you guys.